as your life. Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at South Pole. We've got this little classic dachshund who presented with a history of hind limb paresis. And so we're doing a myelogram. We've already done a CT scan, which was suggestive of a disc rupture at T1213 on the right hand side. And so we're now just doing a myelogram to confirm that that's where our compression is. So what I'm doing is I'm helping the dorsal spinal or the spinous process of probably L5, I would imagine. And I'm pinching the spinous process and I'm going just cranial to it. And I'm going pretty much vertical to the skin. And then that's quite a bit higher than I expected. So we'll drop that down lower. Okay, so that is at L6. And then I'm gonna have to redirect my needle until it's in that space between the vertebral bodies. And now I've just dropped that through. And so now I'm in the spinal canal and I'll pull my needle out. And if I get CSF coming out, which I, which I have, that tells me that I'm in the sub subarachnoid space. So I've got a little bit of CSF that's coming up through the needle there. Again, that tells me that I'm in the subarachnoid space and that makes it easy. If you don't get CSF coming out with your needle, then you have to do test injections to see if you're in the correct space. So now I connect my contrast and the calculation that we use is 0.3 milligrams, sorry, 0.3 milliliters per kilogram plus whatever volume it takes to prime your tube. So uh, in this dog it was about four mils. And now I'm injecting slowly just to make sure that we've got a nice myelogram image if you want to come around and go close to the screen, and you can describe what's happening there if you like. Yeah. So as you can see, every time we keep changing, uh, I'm taking a new fluoro image. The black indicates the contrast that's running through. So as time continues, the contrast is consistently running cranially up the dog. And you just want to make sure that you inject very slowly because you can blow through the hole that you've made in your acne um, with the needle if you're not careful. And so we just want to inject nice and slowly and then repeated injections all the way up. A few little air bubbles going in, which is not a concern because before they had myelographic contrast, they used to actually do minimum myelograms, which is just um, just air that was injected into the spinal canal. They used to do pneumoencephalograms as well. All right, so we can see that we've lost some contrast there already. Uh, so we can see that at about, from T kind of 11 up to L1, T13, we're missing contrast. So that just confirms that we've got compression at the site that we thought we would on the CT scan. So I'm just continuing to inject more. Often you'll have a little deficit in contrast in the middle of the cranial thorax, and that's expected. So now we're up to about T1. Just continuing to inject. And once I get to kind of the mid cervical region, I'll be happy to stop. And the reason why I'm stopping there is because, number one, I'm confident we don't have a cervical disc lesion. Number two, I don't want to get contrast up in the brain, which is going to um, make it more likely that we're going to get a seizure. So we'll just scan again, and you can see that we've got nice contrast column there. And then when we get down to the caudal thoracic region, we've got a little bit of a deficit right there, and then a nice contrast column caudally. So that's the CT monogram in this dog. And then once we get the post-CT images, I will uh, post another video to let you know what we found. There's a little exit.